Now look at his knee poking through the sweat. He happy feet, bro. Look at all the calories. He's out there. Hey, I'm bro, how many times feet. you dropped her, though? How many times you dropped her? I haven't dropped her at all. When you threw in the air, you ain't I never, never said my bad. Oh, shit. No. Hey, how hard is it? It's hard. Like, that's what... You ain't dropped her. I know you dropped her almost. No. Almost. How, lo how long y'all yeah, yeah. How long y'all practicing, though? How long we practicing? Yeah. I mean, how long you training? All right, so two days ago, we had practice from 1 o'clock to 10 p.m. Jesus Christ. Damn. That's for, for what? For what? To for dance. dance. To dance. Yeah. I done lost 15 pounds just dancing. I'm cut up. Like, I done lifted weights like every day. And, and for everybody who doesn't Nine know, hours? you're a Nine cast member on dancing, dancing with the Stars, dancing. season 33. Get some doggone hard toe shoes, man. You got my toes like this, bro. <laughs> He on steroids. It said my big toe. That, that thing's uh, the other way. He, he on, I am not on no nah, steroids. Nah, he can nine shoot hours, up and then go dance. How? You ain't shit playing, bro. Just bro, we dancing, dancing. And I'm talking about we moving. Nah, he in shape for real. Oh, he always in shape. So Dancing oh, with the Stars, season 33. Uh, for all the Dancing with the Stars fans out there, uh, Tuesday night you avoided elimination after your tango tribute to the animated series Wreck It Ralph earned eight threes from the judges, 24 out of 30. Man, I was... Or three I was, eights, I was, excuse me. I was, me and my partner was a little tight at the judges because they said stuff about... And it's not like I'm against the judges or anything, but they said something about me missing steps. Yeah, your feet didn't look right. And I'm like, we ain't missing no steps. I was like, How can anybody know that ain't doing the dance that we missed a step? <laughs> right. I see right. How can and anybody nah, know that? Nah, I seen your feet work ain't And it's y'all. I got <laughs> good footwork, <laughs> but that don't even it's make sense. Score. So we in a basketball <laughs> game, if I ain't never seen this team play, how am I know they running thumb down 25? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Huh? No. Easy. For real. I can tell by your feet. Uh, no, nope, your no, feet no, but no, that's, that's not possible. What's so funny? That's the argument that when you have reporters reporting on why he didn't take this shot, he was open. How do you know our play? How do you know what we doing? How, hey, you didn't like, see the back screen with that's, the double and yes, the flare? That's that exactly was the what happened last night. Play. That's what happened during our dance last night. We did a part where they said, I missed the step. And I said, no, that's the part where our step looked like this. Mm -hmm. It looked like we were supposed to do this because we both did it at the same time. How are you going to tell me that we missed the step when you don't know how it is? Mm -hmm. How are we going to know if somebody watching the basketball game, oh, shoot, they just call a uh, high pick and roll, and that's, that's a play, uh, shoot, that's, that's triangle. How are they going to know? Easy. Oh, they didn't run that right. Yeah, they didn't run that right. How they gonna know that? So how Some somebody who ain't never watched the court? Some you know, like, he's supposed to back door if you... He's supposed to back door. Yeah, no, yeah, that's what yeah, you would shit. do in the situation. But not in the dance. We already got our steps, and it's hard, because we learning. But we learned in the dance in six days. But that's like how we critique You six days, and you still came but, to the but, arena, but Dwight. We appreciate it. We, no, dance, yeah, we learned it. Like, we got to learn the dance in six days. So, like, say... Yo, like, you got six days to learn the dance? We, we got to learn the dance in four days, really, but we got to perform it on the sixth, on the sixth day. Mm. So we only get six days to learn how to do a new tango, like a tango dance or contemporary or paso doble, different holes, salsa, cha-cha. We learning it on the fly. We only get six days to learn it. So imagine having to go learn it in six days then go perform it in front of the whole world. It ain't like playing basketball. You got your team out there. You got a little, you can build. If, if I'm not feeling too well, I can say, shoot, I got Gil playing good. You know, Swag playing nice. I can build myself up. But it's just two people in the whole world watching you saying, oh, look at his foot. He could have did this. His hip could have been better. How you know what my hip could have did? You ain't never dog on cha cha. Mm -hmm. And you talking about he could have rolled his hip a little more. You do a cha cha yeah. to his own. Your hip should. Let me see. It. Let me see. You do it. Put some oil. You gotta put some oil. Put some oil on how? I know I can move my dog on hips. <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard doing it when you're trying to dance, man. Shoot, I played basketball for 90 years. Nine hours. Nine hours. Nine hours. So, what are you doing? We did the show and we still dancing? Oh, oh, my God. I'm yes. Crazy. What are you doing in those nine hours? How much of it is grueling physical activity? How many breaks are you getting? Like, how, how are you breaking. budgeting out that if nine hours? Breaking, the break, the only break I might get is for, like, 30 minutes. Mm. And I go chill. And I'm still dancing because I'm trying to learn the song. And then this week, we had to learn two songs in a week. We had to learn a song for ourselves and then a team song with with four other people. And how long was the routine? So again? so so you got two minutes for the the the, the
to the group song yeah. in a minute for our song. And you got to force And that's a like long it. time dancing. And you got to force yourself to like the song, huh? It ain't you about like liking it. the song. You, you can't even worry about the song because yeah. you can't hear the yeah. song when you're dancing. Yeah. You got to okay. know the okay. steps. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when you're dancing, you're not out there thinking about the song because if you do, you're going to miss a step. Got you. But how you stay on beat, though? While you're That's the that? hardest part because for me, when I hear a song, I already got that rhythm in my head. I'm like, oh, yeah. But then that's not the same rhythm. That's, that's not the same steps. So if the song is real slow, like the other week I performed my song for my kids that I made. The song is a slow song, so if I'm actually dancing to it, I'm dancing slow and I'm doing this. But the steps is fast as hell. The steps is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But all I hear is shoot for the stars, wherever you are. So I want to do this and do this. But the steps is boom, 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 boom. Move your hips this way. I'm like, God, this is a lot. So if people don't understand how much work you got to put in and how much thought you got to have, why you doing all this? So I got so much respect for anybody that dance. Hey, you you want to be my partner? Because it's a lot. <laughs> want to be my partner and dance for the store? He if, said if, nine hours. Nah, he ain't doing that for nine hours. Yeah, you didn't say no. You <laughs> he didn't said, say no. He said nine no. hours. So if it wasn't nine, nine hours. Go throw each what I'm saying is my knee, my knee going to swell up after the first five yeah. minutes. My, your knee, what look at your knee swollen. What I'm saying is your knee swollen. You just walked in. He was on the show. I let you throw me up. But I said, this nigga asked these. I let you throw me up. I can see you wanting to do it. This man. You would do it? You would throw me there. That's cool. You got your mama knees. Okay? I mean, it's a whole new avenue. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> it's going to open you up to a whole new... You saying something, you, you put yourself in a whole new atmosphere. You learning more about yourself and the things that you can do. And I can get in shape. And you're going to get in shape and it's less wear and tear on your knees. I ain't jumping like that. But now I'm still jumping over folks. Last night I jumped over three people. Nah, I see you out there doing a... For real? Test at Venice Beach. That's when I knew you was... Something wrong. I was like, how you doing that shit, bro? He was doing, doing a dirt contest at Venice Beach. Oh, you went to I, no, I did. I was going no, crazy. I said, 360 windmills, <laughs> windmills everything. Said, Hell no. And it was just like I walked up <laughs> to the beach. No stretch, no nope. concrete, everything. And had yeah. a full dunk contest. Full contest. So what made you decide to want to do Dancing with the Stars? And what's... It was crazy. You know, I, I always dance. <laughs> Gil play. So every... I am always got my speakers, so I'm always listening to music and dancing. And so everybody's like, you should do Dancing with the Stars. And they asked me about doing it. I was like, I got to do this. Take a shot. Well, we did. So what was harder, Dancing with the Stars or that challenge? The Special Forces? Whoo! All right, so the Special Forces was, was so mentally and physically draining that when, it was only 10 days. And it wasn't 10 days for everybody because some people got, they left the first day. Mm -hmm. I was able to withstand being kidnapped, set on fire, all that stuff. And this is a whole different type of thing that we're dealing with on the dance floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That was hard. I had PTSD after that. Yeah. Like, I felt like I was really in the army. Mm. But, doing but doing this is it's, it's harder. Dancing, dancing with stars harder than ooh. yes special forces training. But it's fun. Wait, it's, special forces. I'm, it's it's fun. He did a special That's forces show, and I, I seen the first episode. I'm like, I'm good. Yeah, I can't do this. That, we got water? kidnapped. Okay. We got really kidnapped. You like guns. Yeah. We got chased by dogs, helicopters. Uh, we had all this stuff. We got set on fire. We had we got uh, tear gas. In uh -huh. We got tear gas. <laughs> um, we had to fight each other. You didn't hear what he's saying. Uh, you listen to what he's saying. Wouldn't it be funny? You the type of, like we yeah, try to really do it. I'm not gonna have to be doing this shit. We had to do some of the most craziest things. Like it was like we was really in the military. We had to we had to do trust falls from 200 feet in the air. Man, Listen to what I'm telling you. I don't trust nobody that much. And there's people and that, was, that we don't even know. And you so, said that was uh, dancing with the stars harder than that. <laughs> the, the work that we putting in dancing with the oh, stars okay. is harder. When it comes to the mental aspect, that was harder because we do it like we had to. Run up this mountain. Get to when we got up to the top. Now, when we running up the mountain, we don't have nothing on. So if we fall, we gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it ain't no like right. let's go save them. We gone. Mm -hmm. We really doing this for real. So but, we get up to the top of the mountain. They tie us up. It's a one of our uh, uh, teams teammates at the bottom. They holding the rope. We have to get to the edge of the mountain. Put our hands behind our back. 
and lay off the mountain. So I know this is a dead person. Yeah, you gotta trust him to hold him. He, he lived we a good life, though, Dwayne. He lived a good life. Well, dang, right, hold up. My feet is like this, hanging off the mountain. Mm -hmm. And I'm like this. <laughs> Imagine just hanging off a mountain, waiting for them to drop you, and you gotta trust that somebody 200 feet on the ground is gonna hold you up so you won't splat. But do you gotta do it? You can say no, right? No, you can't say no. You, if you, you say no, you got to go home. Oh, well, I didn't go all the way to do that show to go to home. Go this man is a competitor, Nick. I'm not trying to go to heaven. I'm going to go home. <laughs> but we had to sign. I mean, we had once to you sign, ran up that mountain, you, you We had to sign death waivers. <laughs> we had, drop you yes, we had, to, we had to sign death waivers. We had to, Wait, we had to, we had to sign death waivers. We had to write death letters to our families and kids. Man, I'm not doing that. Yeah, I'm, 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 I was down for it. I respect I it. I respect hey, everything hey, you just said. And, 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 and we had to read it out loud. I was like, because should I do it? What, but nah. This is what, this is what the people yeah. in the military, my little, my little this is what bad. they have to do. That's part of the site. Yes. Yeah, so hey. we had to learn how to do that. We did that. We, when we went through that stage right there, that's when we all became closer with each other because we letting out our raw emotions. Like, we had to write... Could you imagine writing death yeah, letters yeah. to your kids while you alive Did right now? Did anybody cry? Everybody cried. I was say that. Hell, like, I cried writing it. Because I'm thinking about, about that yes, shit like I got to write a letter telling my shit. kids yeah, that yeah. I won't be here no more. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's all mental. Yeah. yeah, and that's the same day we got set on fire. That's that the same day we got tear gas. Oh, you though. And then we had to that fight each other. Dumbass daddy want to do that show and kill this dumbass. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> No, that, was, that was you would have never got on the show. Shit, I'd have been hot. You'd have been hot at your pop. Hell I'm yeah. Man, that's about writing a letter to you. You sitting there just now you cause now you're only thinking about death. Yes, that's us. And you sitting there like, oh shit, what yeah. am I gonna tell him? Right? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's now now it becomes I don't going a reality to you that yeah, you never thought about. But see, no, doing that show, it put me in a place to where it's like anything that I I can I can do because my mind mm. Mm -hmm. Has went through the worstest type situations, set on fire, bro. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. Tear gas, tear gas. Feel like somebody is taking out. It just feel like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's crazy. Look, Don't get was, tear gas, he, he dog. We had, it. we had because we had to we had to walk into a room, take off our mask, sit there, and have a conversation like I'm having with you while tear gas while tear gas is eating us alive. Why are you here, Dwight? What's your name? What are you going to do today? Okay, okay. I, can do, I can do that. No, I can you, do that. You can do that? Yo, I've, been, I, I've been sitting next to him for hours. Oh, that that ass 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 ass. Ass. The tear gas that's coming out of his mouth. Trust me, guys. You ain't been sitting for hours. I've been holding on. Shut up. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey. Okay, all right, bet. So I can do that one. Hey, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm, hey, I'm okay. I got you. Hey, with your own hey, look, hey I'm going to be down. I did it before you did it. What's wrong, What's wrong with y'all? I did it before he did it. I want to go tell him, like, no, but that's why I got so much respect for anybody I gotta who did the, who, I who's been in the military, that, who's done any type of service. I want to do something like that. We had, to do, we had to do what they've been doing for. A boot camp with B. Jennings. For years, for in 10 days. Jumping off a helicopter finished. backwards That's crazy. into the lower. ocean. Lower. Higher, lower. Higher, lower. Everybody's getting rich. All right, well, let, let's shift this back over to basketball. So, Dwight, you played with Joel Embiid in the 60s and the 20s.